Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and yes, we're finally here. We're talking about the New York Jets training camp. Today was the first practice of the 2022 training camp for the New York Jets. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys all the latest about what we saw today at One Jets Drive. We got all the latest news from all the beat reporters that was there today. We got some breaking news that George Fant is officially the left tackle. Makai Becton is officially the right tackle. We're going to talk about all the players that are officially healthy. Guys like Makai Becton, CJ Uzama, George Fant, Carl Lawson, all practice today and all look like they're ready to go and start uh, camp at full go, which is a really, really good sign. And we're going to get into what happened today on the field and also what happened in the press conferences after practice so if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button i'll be posting a lot of content here on jets media recapping everything to do with training camp so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and also please do not forget to like the video if you guys enjoy that really helps out the channel a ton and also comment down below your thoughts of what your biggest takeaways are from day one of the new york jets training camp because this is a lot of fun training camp is my favorite time to be a Jets fan, I just absolutely love talking about it. I cannot wait to be there on Saturday. And a little disclaimer, guys, I am going away on Sunday for two weeks, so I'm not going to be able to be on top of every single training camp as much as I would like to be like the previous years training camp videos are my favorite thing to do so I'm going to try to uh, break down everything from today's practice all the way up until uh, Saturday's practice when I'm attending and then I will be on a little two-week uh, mini uh, retreat va vacation thing so just a little heads up in case you guys are wondering where I where I am uh, next week during training camp but yeah let's get right into what happened in today's training camp so let's talk about the first breaking news that Fant is officially the left tackle Beckton is officially the right tackle so obviously there's a lot of narratives heading into training camp there's going to be a competition who's going to win it everyone's expecting George Fant to be the left tackle but we all think that there's going to be a competition that all got put to bed today uh Robert Salas spoke to the media after the practice and he said that Becton is definitely going to be the right tackle and Rich Tamini had to absolutely look at this quote and make it something that it's not and uh if you guys saw this on Twitter I don't know if you did but I had to correct Rich Tamini because it really nudged me the wrong way that he's trying to push a false narrative about what Robert Sala said when Robert Sala was talking about Makai Becton he said that this doesn't mean that Makai Becton's days at left tackle are over just because uh, he's young enough like ABT we feel comfortable with the transition but Rich Shimini made it seem like Makai Becton's days at left tackle are over they just he just included that part of the, the quote and that kind of drove me crazy because this is a perfect example of the media trying to push a negative narrative when Robert Sala didn't say that he did not mean that by any means necessary and I kind of agree with the move of moving Makai Becton to the right side because what is he doing He's a player, first of all, that has experience at the right side in college. He's also going to be paired up with Elijah Vera Tucker, and I really want to keep that young duo together. So now you're keeping ABT and Makai on the right side of the offensive line together, and you got the two veterans in the Pro Bowl, Lincoln Tomlinson and George Fant, who's coming off a phenomenal season at left tackle. And then you have a very underrated center, in my opinion, in Connor McGovern, who's the weak link of the offensive line, but he's still an average center. So this offensive line, if healthy, the potential is absolutely through the roof. So that whole uh, competition is put the bed Makai will be at right tackle and I think he's going to do a lot of great things especially in the run game Brees Hall and Carter are going to do a lot of great things when running to the right side so definitely want to start off the video with that because that's definitely a big question mark heading into training camp of who's going to be left tackle the answer is indeed George Fant and then speaking of George Fant real quick I did mention it in the beginning of the video but today he's officially past his physical he practiced today but he did not participate in tre uh, team drills Chuma Idoga was the starting left tackle just because they don't want to throw George Fant out there and you know rush him out there it's not really important to be to put George Fant the veteran uh out there on his first day of practice you're going to ease his way in so it does seem like Chuma Idoga is the backup left tackle uh by uh by the way so really great news also Carl Lawson practiced today CJ Uzama practiced today Carl Lawson looked really good according to all the reports I saw it's really great to see Carl Lawson out there man that's another thing I need to talk about because we all know what this man did last year I mean Carl Lawson in training camp was making things happen in training camp to the point where us Jets fans were thinking to ourselves is this guy gonna just shatter every sack record that the New York Jets franchise have because what he's doing every single camp every report that we're getting it's Carl Lawson Carl Lawson Carl Lawson screaming off the edge doing this we've lacked a true edge presence for so long on this Jets franchise and we were so excited last year and it's so awesome to see 12 months removed from his Achilles injury last year he's on the field he's 100% ready to go and he looks healthy he looks lean he looks mean and I'm really excited to see what Carl Lawson does man because it's a really great sign to see him out there at practice 
Um, and now let's get right into what happened in practice. What happened during the day? Who's the star? Guess what? Denzel Mims was the star. We could not stop seeing Denzel Mims' names. All these tweets coming from Connor Hughes, coming in from Rich Samini. All these guys are just praising Denzel Mims. He started off the day with a great catch from Joe Flacco, a 15-yarder. And then he had another great catch from Mike White. And then he had another great catch. It felt like every single time there was a reception, it was from Denzel Mims. And that really brings up a really interesting uh, conversation about Denzel is he's fighting for a job right now, right? He's entering year number three. Robert Sala and Joe Douglas always say they give their draft picks three years to prove themselves. So this is the make or break season for Denzel Mims. This is his first time in his career with the Jets that he's going into training camp healthy. He was healthy during OTAs. He's not behind in the playbook. And it seems like he's definitely balling out early on in camp already. And I really feel like he's going to prove to be a guy that you don't want to get rid of. He's a perfect depth piece on this franchise. And yes, you might see the wide receiver position. It's crowded. Corey Davis will obviously be ahead of him. Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore, Braxton Berrios. Those guys will be ahead of him in the depth chart. But... We all know as Jets fans, unfortunately, injuries do happen. So I have nothing but great things to uh, say about Denzel Mims. If his opportunities present himself this year and he's on the field, I have confidence in him to make plays because I feel like his mind is in a better place right now. He's a good uh, understanding of the offense. First time in his career going into the same offensive system in year two, not having to learn everything on the fly. Year one, obviously, you're a rookie learning everything. Year two, he had to learn a new playbook. Now in year three, he's going into a season by learning this, uh, not having to worry about learning all new verbiage. So I'm really excited to see what Denzel Mims does. Awesome to see him flashing all over the place. He was the star of training camp, which is pretty cool. And then let's talk about Zach Wilson. He had a really good uh, camp today. According to all the reports that I saw, he had a really good day leading up until the red zone drills at the end. He threw an interception to DJ Reed. But outside of that, he looks calm. He looks poised. He looks like the player that we're expecting in year number two to take that leap. And listen, it is training camp without pads. So it's really hard to talk about what exactly happened because they're not really simulated, you know, live pass rush. Even though there were some sacks, John Franklin Myers got to him. Jacob Martin got to him. So they are doing some pass rush, but it's different when there's no pads because they're not actually wrapping them up. There's not a lot of contact. But uh, according to all the reports that I'm seeing on Twitter, Zach Wilson definitely had a solid day and uh, looking like a player that's taking that leap. And Zach Wilson in the press conference, uh, he mentioned that he's at 218 pounds right now. Last year, he was around 206, 207 pounds. So that's right. That's his playing weight. In minicamp, he was 221 and he lost three pounds. Now he's in training camp. And this is the exact weight that he wants to be at when he's playing every day. You can tell that he put on some weight, man. He slimmed down, but at the same time, he built some muscle in his lower half. His quads look bigger. His shoulders look a little more broad. He just looks like a more of a quarterback now. And you compare the pictures from last year's training camp as a rookie to year two training camp. The difference is there. I mean, he put on 12, he put on like 10 to 12 pounds of muscle um, in a full season. So that's really great news for Zach Wilson because I really feel like him developing physically is a really good sign for him to develop mentally. And he also said that he's at the best place he's ever been mentally in his life when it comes of football obviously the media asked him questions about what happened in the offseason all the, the reports that happened about him and he's really comfortable with the players around him he's really he's developing relationships with these guys off the field and i'm really excited to see what zach wilson does in year number two nothing but great things to say about him um, and the defense, they won the red zone. They were struggling in the first portion of uh, team drills, but then the red zone, they did get the best of Zach Wilson. Like I mentioned, DJ Reed got an interception. Jacob Martin got a sack. Uh, John Franklin Myers got a sack, beating Chuma Adoga at left tackle. So overall, the, the biggest takeaways from today's training camp on practice, Zach Wilson had a good first day. Denzel Mims was the star. And I also forgot to mention the kicking battle, which is definitely something to keep an eye on for the rest of training camp. But who's going to win the kicking battle? Is it Zerline or is it Pinero? They both hit all four of their field goals. They were both four for four. So that's a good sign because we need a damn kicker. And I feel like Greg Zerline and Eddie Pinero will be competing until preseason, until the final cuts to see who's going to win that kicking battle. It's going to be really, really interesting to see. Um, but yeah, man. Mekhi Becton, when he spoke to the media, he did say he doesn't care where he lines up on right or left tackle. He just wants to play a full season, which is really good to hear from Mekhi that he's not looking at the situation where it's a negative, where he's moving to right. He's excited to be playing. He's excited to be healthy, and he looks in shape. He looks ready to go. He looks to be proving a lot of people wrong. So that's really my thoughts of day one of Jets training camp. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Like the video if you guys enjoy. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning in to Jets media videos. It really does mean a lot to me. So comment down below your thoughts again, guys. And like the video if you guys enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Let's go Jets. Peace out.